hello guys welcome to my new video guys are uh, you guys have been asking me to make a video showing you how i make my sim dashboard like this so that you can see your speedometer on your tablet or your phone so it's very simple let me take you through all the process how you can do it so that you can use your phone to show your speedometer so as we start guys the first step that you need to do guys you need to open your browser when you open your browser it will take you here um the only thing you're supposed to search when you get here just search in sim at uh, sim dashboard you guys sim dashboard as you can see sim dashboard yes that is this guys so you must write it like this sim dashboard then you press enter it will take you to this um to this file so when you arrive to this page guys all you, you need to you need to click on this one called stray uh, strider uh, that ide so that's the first one you click on that one click on the first link the you will enter to this one so when you land here it, it will show you guys it's very simple like you can see here it say your your tablet or smartphone as an additional display for sim racing right yes so it's very simple if you scroll down like for example you will scroll down when you scroll down you will finally be able to see this sim dashboard how does it operate and how so now we want to download it for the pc one so the first one that we need we're going to scroll down until you find this one uh, which is saying download pc application so you're going to download it so you're going to click download then it's going to bring you to this page then you're going to say download pc application current vision you must you must get the latest vision guys you must have the latest vision so make sure that you 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 you, you have this one download vision and another thing you must also be having what a uh, microsoft but this one most of the things uh most of the games when you install it it comes with this thing so you're good you will only need to download this one for the pc you press download then it will be start, it will start downloading here as you can see it's downloading so let's open it like this so that you can show that uh, it's downloading just that my internet is very slow today guys uh, i don't know why but yeah let me just do it for you so this is when you download it guys it's very simple we are downloading i want to take you through each and every step until you finish so you're going to make sure that you download it i don't know how many megabytes does this thing take i don't know yeah it's done downloading so once it's done we're gonna close this thing and get it done you can see sim dashboard is there we're gonna press file it's gonna open the files now we have this one you see here it is sim dashboard the latest division so you're gonna double click it double click it prepare to install then here it is sim dashboard this one is the pc version that's when we're starting so you're gonna click next you're gonna and i already have it so i'm already have it so i don't need to install it because i already have it installed on my pc so I'm just gonna click next 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 and install it so once you're done once you're done we're going to the next step now i could it will say like this you are done so you're gonna be having it here you're gonna be having it here um here as, 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 as on your desktop so what you're gonna do now before you launch it you need to to download the one on your phone let me show you how you download the one on your phone okay guys uh, uh i'm sorry I, I, I wanted to 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 use my tablet as to record the screen but it's not allowing me okay so what you do when you reach here guys name this is what you do uh, you're gonna come to you're gonna come to to play store ne? you're gonna open play store so when you open play store go to search just find search here mine is down here then you're gonna come to search and you're gonna search for sim dashboard ne? for sim dashboard there it is oh, mine is already here because i've been I, I already searched it so we're gonna say sim dashboard and you're gonna got it this is the first thing so you must install it the logo is like this let me show you the logo is like this uh don't play please it's like this as you can see guys this is the logo of the sim dashboard so what you're gonna do you're gonna come and say install so when you, when you install it when you are done you're gonna come and say open ne? when you open sim dashboard will be like this let me rotate the phone for you so that you can see properly now so when it's like this you land on the on a page like this one uh, it's very empty like you have to, to to do it for yourself so first thing first you must click on here on the on, on, on bottom top there uh, you're gonna scroll down and you must find euro truck simulator then you're gonna click on euro truck simulator remember the phone is not yet connected now 
ne? it's not yet connected so now you're gonna click on this thing you see this thing here on top here yeah yeah here on top here this is it here on top on the this edit you're gonna click here it's design number one so when you open this thing like this you have to design it yourself like for example let me show you let me show you and you have to edit it by yourself you must click the plus button there's a plus button you see plus button click the plus button so it's up to you whether you want to add the one which is already done or you want to use the, the one that you, is there now so this one you press the add so you're gonna come to if you want to create your own design you will come to new design like this you will come to new design then you can choose for yourself okay first thing what do you have this side okay you can choose what you want here you say no nah, i don't want this one you're gonna come to gears you check okay on the gear you want this gear to show this one the first one you're gonna click on it then you're gonna it's gonna you're gonna say okay then you should say okay i want this one then you're gonna resize it the way you want it so when you resize it you must click this this there's these buttons here you understand there's these buttons let me show you there's this the top this one is for increasing this one is for decreasing right and this one is for rotating like you choose which rotation do you want them then this one is for color so but if you feel like you don't have time for doing these things you just want the one which is already done so what you what you're gonna do is gonna say delete this thing then you're gonna come to a clean page you're gonna do like this you're gonna say add um install ish look at this what am i doing this thing is gonna ruin my stuff you're gonna come here on adding then you're gonna come to community so when you come to community you're gonna check that in the, in the community side there are there are things that they already said that these are the free ones understand for example if you say you want the new scania what 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 okay you can say new scania what 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 click it you must install it so you're gonna say install it's gonna automatically install for you you understand it's gonna automatically install for you so wait it's installing So that we can move to the second step now it's installing just give me a second it's installing it's installing guys so no it's installing so i have to hold the phone by my hand because i'm lazy these days to even take my ring light and put it here and do this it takes time because it's copying everything guys you must uh, just be patient for me yes look at this look at this remember we just copied everything right we didn't have to to create or do anything we just copied exactly on the community side so it's like this it has so many things uh, if you want to edit something you click on the um, you click on this thing maybe for example you have to click on the speed this one you can adjust increase and do everything but if you feel like you feel like it nah this one is fine for me this is what you do this is what you do this is what you do ne? you must double click it's on top where there's no nothing you just like one two you will get this thing then you say it's okay like this now it's saved ne? when you save it now we are moving to the next to the next step we are going to connect our 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 our, our desktop sites and our pc one so that they can correspond this is how we do it let's go back to our pc okay guys you are back on your pc right now so when you're back on your pc this is what you're gonna do remember uh, we are on the same dashboard you must come to the game you see the game you go to the game you make sure that this thing is configured if it's not configured as long as your game is running one it must it must be running in the background it's ra <laughs> running number two you must press a uh, config to be config so you're gonna press it and you say okay then you should be fine now you come to your devices when you come to your devices here is my device that i connected so when now when you come you're gonna click on manual you're gonna click on this one ne? you see this one when you when you are here so what you're gonna do you're gonna put in your ip address where do you find your ip address let's get back on the phone i will show you where do you find your ip address so that you can be good to go after this one back to the phone so back to our phone so this is what you're gonna do you must find a cable guys me i prefer to use a cable because as for, for the internet when your phone is connected to the internet it makes the game lag sometimes because your phone is using internet but i prefer a cable so you're gonna get a cable then you're gonna connect to your phone so for example on my side on my case just hold on let me push this phone like this i will try to connect it like on the other hand now the phone is connected 
to the PC. Now the phone is connected to my PC. So this was gonna do. You're gonna you're gonna exit this sim dashboard by the middle side. Then you're gonna go to your settings. Now you're going to your settings. Where's my settings? They are my settings. Ne? When you reach to your settings, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna come to um, hotspot and tethering. Ne? Then you're gonna press this one. When you press this one, there's USB tethering. Ne? You must make sure you use USB tethering. So I'm gonna turn USB tethering on. So once I turn the USB tethering on, it's fine. I'm gonna be go back to my SIM dashboard. Remember, I launched the game Euro Truck so that it can be running, so that the speed can be active, right? So as you can see, we're to, well, um, the, we have set up the the thing. Where is it now? Where's that thing? Here it is. Here it is. So remember, we did this thing. This is what you're gonna do to get your IP address to put there and the name. You're gonna click on the three dots on the top here. You're gonna scroll down, down. I'm curious, you're gonna be here on your track. You're gonna make sure you scroll down, scroll down there until you find settings. And when you find settings, you're gonna click on settings. When you click on settings, you're gonna come to set up your device, set up your PC. When you click there, you're gonna say next. You're gonna say USB setup. When you're there, you're gonna say next. You're gonna say next again. You're gonna say manual. And you are setting it manually. You're gonna say manual, and you're gonna say next. This is your IP address. This is your IP address. This is your IP address. You're gonna get you. You're gonna get your your own IP address. This one is for my tablet. When are you gonna get your own IP address? You're gonna get it here. Your own IP address. So once you get it in, this is what you're gonna do. So you're going to put this IP address on your. Um, you're gonna put it this IP address. On your sim dashboard on your pc so that's what you're gonna do from now on you're going to put this sim dashboard ip address on your pc so this is how you do it let me show you on the pc how you do it address of the android device then you're gonna put this ip address 192.1 when you are done when you are done it's gonna ask you to put a name when you put a name for the ip address you're gonna put any name you want when you're done you're gonna say okay when you say okay it's gonna show like this Make sure you don't make mistake. If there's a comma, there's a comma. When you are done, you're gonna click on the comma. You see this test, test connection. You're gonna press test connection and you're gonna say test. Then you're gonna test it. You say okay, 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 okay. So it means that everything is fine. So you don't have to worry about anything. So you're gonna say cancel and you. So when you are done, when you, do, you must minimize this the, the, this thing. When you're done minimizing this thing, you must go back to your phone. Then you must just complete the rest. So you're gonna click there on okay. But it will be fine. I'm gonna gonna say next, and you're gonna you're gonna say okay. I understand. You say next. You're gonna say okay. You're gonna say next. You say finish. You're gonna come here and you're gonna come like it will be like this. You see. Once it's like this, look at the game now. Let's go back to the game. Let's go back to the game minimize this one we are inside our track look at the speedometer now look at this you see it's moving now it's moving do this very simple very simple guys very simple now let's do this let's clutch and let's go let's see if uh, let's start moving let's start moving if you see the speedometer will move You see, the speedometer is moving now. You see? You see? Okay, let's get gear number two. Let's go gear number three. Let's go gear number four. Gear number five. It also shows the time, guys. It also shows the time. It also shows the time. Even though I can zoom on the dashboard like this, you can see there. Now we see 27, 27. You can see the let me stop you'll see it decreasing everything stop it eh? zero zero even on the dashboard they matching now you see it's very simple guys this is how you do it actually if you don't understand ask me questions in the comment section guys i will try by all means to respond to them or to make another video again when i'm not in a hurry like this thank you so much for watching guys um yeah if you want to join our company guys make sure you hit my inbox uh just say i want to join the company i will make sure that you come and join us when you play every day on ets2 thank you so much this applies on the ets you do the same thing there's no different actually so thank you so much guys for tuning in thank you so much Dango.